are you up for a chat? Was it three months ago that we had lunch together? I guess so. I found a nice French restaurant. I love French food. I'll make a reservation. I'm looking forward to it. Is Sam doing okay lately? Yes, but why? I saw him and a young girl walking together. No way. It was daytime and she was pretty young, so you should ask him. Yes, I'll ask. If you need anything else, let me know. Okay, thank you, Sammy. I'll call you when I make a reservation. Good night. Is this Alyssa's number? Yes, it is. Nice to meet you. My name is Kat. Sam has been taking good care of me. You are Sam's wife, right? Yes, Sam is my husband. Are you an employee of my husband's company? Huh? That's not all. I'm Sam's girlfriend. Huh? Girlfriend? As you know, Sam is my husband. You may not understand the situation. He does not have a girlfriend. That's not true. I am Sam's true love. We are pretty serious. Oh, well... So? What does this Sam's true love want with me? Isn't it obvious? I want you to break up with Sam. Please, divorce him. You are annoying, Sam and me. What? How am I annoying you or Sam? Because an old, ugly woman like you is keeping him forever. Sam wants to marry me, but he can't. You're standing in between us. Do you understand, old lady? Hmm? I see. Besides, I'm pregnant now. It's Sam's baby. Is that true? I'm seven months along. If you don't divorce him, this baby will become a fatherless child. That's a big problem for me, so please leave as soon as possible. I'm young and beautiful. I'm much more suitable for Sam. Sam is the president of a company, rich, and lives in a big mansion. Please, quickly, let Sam be with me. I see your point. I'm surprised at how insane it sounds. But if you are pregnant, there's nothing I can do. I'll have a little talk with Sam. Can you give me a minute? Sure. Thank you for your understanding. Please do it quickly. Sam, I just got a message from Kat. She says she's pregnant with your child. Huh? Hey, wait. Why would she say that? She's pretty young, isn't she? How old is she? What? Well, I think she was 27 or something. She is almost 20 years younger than you. I can't believe you are having an affair with a girl as old as your kid. You're such an idiot. Did you forget that you promised you'd never cheat on me again? I can't say no when someone relies on me. I'm that kind of guy, you know? You've underestimated me. I said I'd divorce you if you did it again. Don't tell me you don't remember. We did make that promise. I'm really sorry. Divorce is a bit too much. I know, right? You're the president of a company. You got a younger girl pregnant and divorcing your wife. That would ruin your credibility. Especially since the chairman of our biggest client hates that kind of dishonesty. If he finds out, it could be the end of your company, right? You're right. So please, don't divorce me. Huh? Then what are you going to do with the baby? She's seven months pregnant. Well, I will acknowledge the child and give her child support. What do you think? Why are you asking me? I'm so done with you. She's pregnant. Marry her. Divorce me. What? No! However, I'll give you one condition. What? You don't want people to know that you cheated on me, right? We'll call it an amicable divorce. You should get married before the baby is born. 
No alimony, just a share of the property. What do you think? Really? You'll divorce me on those terms? That's no benefit to you. There's a big advantage to dumping a cheating husband. I'm sick of this. Our kids are all grown up. We're done. Let's just go our separate ways. Are you serious? I'm kind of scared. Wait, what's the condition you're talking about? It's not a bad one, is it? There's only one condition. Don't contact your girlfriend until our divorce is final. What? That's it? That's all it takes to get a divorce? If you want to hide the affair, leaving as little evidence as possible is better. After the divorce, you can do whatever you want. What do you think? Are we getting a divorce or not? Yes, I'm getting a divorce. I'll divorce you if no one finds out about my affair. No, I'm sorry for everything I've put you through. It's all my bad. Let's be happy, okay? Okay. Go to the city office on your way home tomorrow. Get the divorce papers and write them down. I'll go turn it in when I'm done. Okay, I'll take care of it. Hello, cat. I finally heard from you. I got tired of waiting. So, when are you going to divorce him? Before that, let me ask you something. Do you understand that you committed adultery? I mean, you made a move on a man who has a wife. I know that, but I can't help it. The man I fell in love with happened to be married to someone else. I don't care about your philosophy, but you are making us get divorced. Please agree with me on something. Something? Do you want money from me? You're more perceptive than I thought. Do you know what alimony is? That's why I want you to pay. Hmm. Well then, how about $50,000? $50,000? That's a big number. I don't know the average. I thought it would be around that. It's a pity for the old lady whose rich husband will dump her. You'll spend the rest of your life in misery. Is $50,000 enough? You can get divorced as soon as possible. You are a very generous young lady. I'm glad you're easy to talk to. Are you sure you want to pay $50,000? I'm sure I'll be fine. Sam is the boss. Isn't that a small price to pay? I'll pay it with the power of love. Oh, I see. Well, if you're okay with that amount, I don't mind. You'll pay it in one lump sum, right? You don't want me to bother you for years, do you? I don't want that. I'll never have anything to do with you again. That's a promise. Then pay me a lump sum of $50,000 in alimony. I'll send you an agreement stating that. Can you just sign it and send it back? Then I'll divorce him right away. Okay, I'll sign as soon as I get the paper. Okay. I received the settlement yesterday. I've filed for divorce. Sam and I are divorced. Yay! Finally, finally! The rich husband and the mansion are mine. I'm so happy. Congratulations. You guys can do whatever you want now. Thank you very much. You'll have a hard time from now on. You don't have a rich husband anymore. Please spend the alimony carefully. Oh yes, speaking of alimony, I have a question. May I ask you a question? A question? Okay. Ask me anything, old lady. I'll answer any questions you have. Please, go ahead. Okay, thank you. Then, how are you going to pay $50,000? You said you'd pay it with the power of her love. But he's broke. What? Sam is the president, but he doesn't have any savings. He's not rich. You don't look rich. I just wondered how you could pay. Huh? What's that? There's no way that's true. 
he has such a big house and such an expensive car. If push comes to shove, we can just sell them. You're so naive. The car and the house are mine and my name. They're not his. You can't sell them. What? He's cheated on me four times, and every time he cheated on me, he gave me his property. What? What do you mean he's cheated four times before? What? You didn't know? You're not a good judge of men, are you? Well, Sam would not tell you something like that. I've had four women in the same boat as you. His affair partner. Huh? You're kidding. He said it was just me. The last one apologized and broke up with him when I asked about alimony. Another found out he had no money and left him. Or she woke up when I told her about the age issue. It's just a matter of time, right? She was going to lose a lot of money in her 20s. She didn't want to be stuck with a broke old man. It's not worth it. Wait a minute. What do you mean he has no money? Okay, so he's cheated on me four times now. He gave me all his money as alimony for cheating on me. The first time he gave me all his savings from when he was single. The second time I sold his jewelry. With the third, he gave me his car and savings. With the fourth, I put the house in my name. He kept the mortgage on the house. When he divorced me, he had nothing left over. Just his monthly income, the house, and the car loan. He's a spendthrift person. He has no savings. What? What? No way, that's impossible. It's true. I had to help him save some money. I made it by deducting it from his monthly salary. After I got it as alimony, he never did it again. He doesn't know anything about managing money. Huh? Then how am I supposed to pay $50,000? Sam was supposed to pay for everything. I'm the one asking about the payment method. I'm reminding you, I don't accept installments or anything like that. You'll have to pay it all in one lump sum, even if you borrow money. By the time your kid is in middle school, he'll be retired. By the time your kid is all grown, he'll be nearly 70. You are a special person to spend $50,000 for that. Are you going to be okay? I feel sorry for you. Impossible. I don't want that. I'll return him. The baby isn't really Sam's. I don't care for Sam at all. I'm in love with someone else, and it's his child. I want to become rich and then divorce sooner or later. I'm sorry. Please, forgive me. Hmm... It's non-returnable. Please send the money. Bye. Hey, Alyssa. What did you say to Kat? You said something about money? What do you mean? We only talked about the alimony. She said she was going to pay $50,000. She was going to make you pay for it. I told her you have no house, car, savings, or nothing. That's it. What? What do you mean, no house, no car? What? Are you serious? You gave me the house and the car as compensation for your last affair. Don't tell me you forgot. You've used the car and the house even after the name change. Did you think they were yours? Oh. You really have no idea. You're destroying yourself with your stupidity. Do you know why I decided to divorce you? Because I have nothing to squeeze out of you anymore. I'm so glad I got a divorce thanks to Kat. No, wait. Wait a minute. Let's talk one more time, okay? You know about our life. I don't have anything to talk about anymore. We're divorced. We're strangers. You're going to marry her, right? Oh, but she doesn't want you either. She has no use for you without money. To my surprise, the baby isn't yours either. No, seriously, wait. What does that mean? I'm panicking. The baby is someone else's. I'm glad it's not yours. You paid too much for that girl. You deserved it, though. I can't believe this. 
From my point of view, I can't believe both of you. I'll charge you fifty thousand dollars if she can't pay. I'm sorry for everything. I don't have any money, so please forgive me. She says she would pay for it. So I don't want you to tell me. Why? Why did you do this? I know I'm crazy. I just feel like something. Something is always missing. What are you talking about? We'll just pay the alimony anyway. I'm moving out soon. Amy wants me to move in with her, so I'm getting rid of the house, the car, everything. I'm going to live with our daughter and her husband. France? I've always wanted to go to France. And her husband? When did she get married? Oh, you don't know? You were busy with an affair when she was studying in France. She didn't want to invite you to the wedding. She said you were not her father. By the way, they are about to have a baby. Did you know that? Oh my God! It's all your fault. Well, this is goodbye. Bye. Cat, have you sent the money? I'm sorry, not yet. You sound down. I have news that will make you happy. Huh? I don't want your alimony anymore. What do you mean? You don't have to pay. I'll cancel the settlement. Are you sure? Thank you very much. But why? Because you have a baby. The baby's about to be born. Starting your life as a mother with fifty thousand dollars in debt is not good. Your baby has saved your life. From now on, you have to make your baby happy. Thank you very much. I'm really sorry, Alyssa. You are 27 years old and have a long way to go. Don't cheat people to get money. You should earn money by yourself, and you will be happy. I promise. Okay. Well, I won't see you again. So goodbye. After that, Sam contacted me repeatedly, asking me to talk to him. I blocked him and refused to receive any calls. I sold my house and car and moved to a hotel so we would never meet in person. Cat broke up with Sam. She began to live quietly with the father of her child. Cat left her work and people started talking. You can't put a door in someone's mouth. The employees talked about Sam behind his back, and his major clients were unhappy with him. What will a 47-year-old man without savings, a house, or a car do now? I don't know and have nothing to do with him anymore. I have moved to France. I started my new life with my daughter and her husband. Not used to many things, but I'm having a great time every day, and I have opened a small cafe. It is famous for its fusion of American and French baked goods. Now it has become a place loved by the locals. I always loved baking. The people of France love what I make. I am very happy that my business is on the right track. My divorce gave me a good start in my second life.